In this video, we'll share how to make YouTube Shorts in a fraction of the time using AI. You'll learn how to make Shorts from existing YouTube videos and completely from scratch using our top recommended AI video generator tools. I'm going to show you two ways to make YouTube Shorts quick and easy. Let's go. Option one, making YouTube Shorts from scratch using AI. Well, I'll be showing you how using an incredible software called InVideo. InVideo is fantastic AI software. All you need to do is enter a few little prompts and it will do everything else for you. From scripting, getting B-roll, adding voiceover and music, it's incredible and I was stunned at how quick this option was to create a YouTube short. So all you need to do is sign up or log in. I've already got an account, so I'm gonna log in. And once you're logged in, to create our YouTube short, we wanna come here to create AI video, start from scratch. So you wanna come up to the top and select workflow and we're going to select YouTube shorts. Now here we need to create a prompt and this is what's fascinating. All I'm gonna do is put in a few details and it will create my short from scratch using AI. So let's go with top three travel tips when traveling to Australia. And in this section, we can specify what we want our YouTube short to look like and sound like. So we can choose a voiceover and I'm gonna go with a female voice. And there's a lot of variety of accents. You can go American, British, we've got Australian. I think I wanna have an Australian voice, a young female Australian voice. And in subtitles, you can have their standard subtitles. You can have no subtitles. You can have the effect where whatever word has been spoken at that moment is highlighted in yellow. There's a few options in here that you should take a look at, but I'm just gonna go with the standard, have standard ad subtitles. And then you have a choice on the stock footage. You can either use iStock normally or don't use iStock, use fewer images. I'm just gonna go with use iStock normally. And once I'm happy with all the settings, I press continue. So before we generate our YouTube short, I get to check through the prompt that I've given them to make sure it's what I want. So I'm happy with this prompt, so I'm going to generate the video. And before our final YouTube short is generated, we get to make a few more choices. So we can see the title that InVideo has created is called Top 3 Aussie Travel Tips. And now we get to choose our audience, the look and feel, and the platform we wanna use this short on. So audience, I can choose from travel enthusiast to Australian visitors to adventure seekers. I wanna go with adventure seekers. And then look and feel, do I want the video to be bright, professional, or inspiring? I think I'm gonna stay with bright, it sounds like fun. And then platform, you have YouTube Shorts, Instagram, or Facebook. Now I wanna make a YouTube short, so I'm gonna stay with YouTube shorts and then press continue. But just so you know, right here, you can edit your original prompt if you want to before generating it. And now let's press continue. And here we go, here's our YouTube short. Let's take a look. Good day. ready for a trip down under? Here are three top-notch tips to make your Australian adventure a ripper. First, slip, slop, slap. That's Aussie for applying sunscreen, wearing a hat and putting on a shirt. Our sun's a scorcher and sunburn can be a real party pooper. Second, respect our wildlife. We've got kangaroos, koalas, and yes, some creepy crawlies. Remember, this is their home too. Keep a safe distance and leave no trace. Lastly, don't forget to explore beyond the cities. Australia's a vast land with stunning coastlines, lush rainforests, and the great outback. Be bold, go off the beaten track. So pack your bags, your sense of adventure, and remember these tips for a bonza time in Australia. See you soon, mate. And there we go, that's our YouTube short. And I'm actually quite impressed with what they produce with just a sentence. Although I don't quite feel that's a young female Australian voice. So if you love the video they made, you can just export it and that's great. However, if you wanna make some slight adjustments, you can do that right here. It says, give me a command to edit the video and then it'll regenerate it. And if you click right here, it gives you examples of the commands you can make to edit the video. So I like this because I wouldn't know how to phrase it. So it's good to have examples. So you could delete the second scene. It's not really relevant. You can make the scene half as long, it's too wordy. You can change the stock to a video drone shot of a forest for an example. So I'm gonna make the adjustments. So I put down change background music to be happier, make the video snappier, make it under 30 seconds long. Also add a title for each top tip at the top of the screen. And let's see what happens. I'm going to regenerate it. And here is a new video. It was 46 seconds long. Now it's only 22 seconds long. So let's see how it looks. Good day. Ready for a trip down under? Here's your quick Aussie guide. First, slip, slop, slap. Protect yourself from the sun. Second, respect our unique wildlife. Lastly, venture beyond the cities into our stunning landscapes. So pack your bags, your sense of adventure, and remember these tips for a bonza time in Australia. See you soon, mate. Okay, so I love that version because it's a lot snappier, but the music still isn't upbeat, and I prefer the voice to be a bit more upbeat. And if you click here, you can actually change the script or change any of the stock footage. That's always a nice option, and you can search for stock footage here. So I can just add in another prompt here to make those changes and we can add into the prompt to make the voiceover female. 
And once we're happy with our video, we can just hit export. Now, because I'm on the free plan, I'm gonna have a watermark on my video. And if you wanna have a video without a watermark, you're gonna have to upgrade to the pay plan. And what I really recommend is that you should never ever post a video online with a watermark on it. No social media platforms like it when there's a watermark on the video and they don't tend to do as well. But this is just a test video, so I'm just gonna keep the watermarks on. Here it says select InVideo AI branding. And this basically means that InVideo will have their branding style on my video. And if I don't want it, I press this button and I'll need to be upgraded to the pay plan. However, just because I'm making a test, I'll just keep it on normal, which means that I'll have the InVideo AI branding. And if you didn't select the export resolution on the previous screen, you can do it here. And my advice is to always export a video at at least 1080p resolution. I know it has 480 and 720 here, but YouTube in particular will always wanna optimize higher quality footage. So I recommend doing anything from 1080 to 4K. So I'm just gonna keep it on 1080 and press continue. And now my video is going to be exported. And there we go, our video has been rendered, the top three Aussie travel tips. So down here we have share. You can share this video either via WhatsApp or Facebook or Twitter or by email. So if you wanna share it with people, you can just copy the link there and send it to them. Or you can just directly download your video here. And there we go, there is a downloaded copy of my video. And just an FYI, whatever pricing setting that you use, it is always vital to have something that removes the watermark. But as a content creator, I make sure I never have a watermark on any of my videos. Option two, making YouTube shorts from a long form YouTube video. And I'm gonna show you how to do this using a software called Opus Clip. So we're on the website and right off the bat, they claim to have a game-changing generative AI video tool that transforms lengthy monologues into captivating short videos with just one click. It's meant to be the number one AI video clipping tool, one long video, 10 viral clips, create 10 times faster. So if you have an account, you can log in here or you can sign in with Google or Facebook. I've already got an account, so I'm just gonna log in now. So when you sign in, you're gonna see the Opus Clip AI interface and you'll notice that it's quite a user-friendly layout. Down at the bottom, you're gonna find a section displaying all your previously imported videos. And at the top, this is where the magic happens. So Opus Clip AI suggests video types that work exceptionally well and those it doesn't recommend. However, you have the flexibility to upload an MP4, a MOV or a WebM file, or you can just drag it here from your computer. Alternatively, you can easily copy and paste a link from platforms like YouTube, Google Drive, Vimeo, Rumble, and more. But just remember, the video link needs to be public, not private. So let me show you an example. So I'm just gonna copy a link from my YouTube video that I wanna create YouTube shorts from, which is my Australia versus England video, three weird culture shocks. So what I'm gonna do is copy the link here and just paste it here. There we go, super quick. Now, as we said before, you can actually choose how much the video Opus Clip analyzes. This video example is only four minutes long, so I'm gonna keep the entire thing. So if you don't need to use the first few minutes of your video, you can trim it down, saving both time and processing credits. Speaking of credits, Opus Clip AI operates on a credit-based system, and we'll discuss that later when we talk about pricing. But I think the credit system is cost-effective, especially if you're selective about the content you wanna process. So you can just trim it right here. You can also choose a style, how you want your short to look, and there is a series of preset templates, which you can edit in a brand template. You also have your preferred clip length. Now this is crucial, especially if you plan to upload to platforms like YouTube Shorts that has a 60 second limit. You need to specify your clip length here to avoid creating content that can't be uploaded. And if you go down a little bit further, you can topic filter by keywords. So while Opus Clip AI can work wonders without extra guidance, adding keywords helps tailor the AI's output to specific topics in your video. Like in your long form video, if you wanted to only make YouTube Shorts about a specific part of that video, add in the keyword giraffes and it'll only create short form content based on giraffes. Now we're ready to hit get clips in one click. Right now we've initiated Opus to process our video and a progress bar will keep us updated on the estimated wait time and processing percentage. So you are free to navigate away from the page because Opus will notify you via email once the job is done. All right, our clips are ready. I just got the email. It took less than 10 minutes. So let's see what Opus clip generated for us. So at the top, it shows us the long form video that it took the content from. And as we scroll down, we're gonna see how many videos that we've got. Okay, so Opus Clip generated five YouTube shorts from us from my one short long form YouTube video. And as you can see, it has its own auto-generated title and a virality score. And as we scroll through, we can see that the scores decrease and it has the most viral one that it thinks it will do the best at the top. So let's take a look at a sample clip, the one that it thinks will be the most viral. So the title is The Heart Pumping Rush of Australian Traffic Lights. And the summary we have is the video effectively grabbed viewers attention with a witty and humorous hook and as you can see here it's got the transcript I can download the video I can schedule the video to one of my platforms I can also edit the video so let's take a quick look at what it sounds like first up let's talk about the Aussie traffic light system the system is red amber green and that amber light gives you just enough time to contemplate life check your hair or maybe even find the meaning of existence but in Australia it's a different story there's no gentleness, it's like the Hunger Games. It's red, green, go! And in Australia, the traffic lights are just red and green. 
And it goes so quick from red to green, it means if I'm at the front of the line when it's a red light, I've barely got my car in gear before the auto car driving speedy thundercats behind me are already yelling, the light's green, go! It stresses me out. I think that's fantastic. Not only is that a quick and snappy short form video, but it's also a great trailer for my long form YouTube video. It's amazing. So if I wanted to edit it, let's take a quick look. So when it comes to customization editing interface, it's incredibly intuitive. We can modify captions, adjust the position and transitions for effects, and even overlay graphics. Opus even allows us to maintain a consistent brand identity by offering templates and design controls. You can manually adjust the frame by dragging and resizing it to make it perfect. You can toggle on B-roll, change caption style and more. And you have layout settings. You have auto B-roll, auto emojis, auto intro caption. You have captions and you can also upload an image. You also have different preset templates here of how you want the captions to look, or if you're happy with it, just save and compile. But before doing so, always take a moment to review your video for any adjustments. So now let's talk about pricing. The free plan contains up to 1080p rendered clips and auto reframe, but again, it has a watermark. There's no editing or auto posting. So with this plan, it removes the watermark and offers faster processing and unlocks AI advanced features starting at $9 US per month. Now, you know two different ways to make YouTube shorts in a fraction of the time using AI. And if you want to level up your content creation game, check out the video here. There's also a link to my channel if you want to see any of my videos, and I'd love to see you over there too. And as always, there's a bunch of links and resources in the description to help you out. I'm that British girl, Jordana Grace, and thanks for watching.